It really depends on what negotiations happen behind the scenes, but it seems, at least to me, the parties decided to walk away. All right, let's move on to a story that has uh, taken a lot of people by surprise this week. So Spotify has parted ways with Meghan Markle and Prince Harry. And now a new report is alleging that Meghan's interviews for her podcast were not conducted by her. So Pod News reported that some of the show's interviews were done by members of the Duchess's staff and they edited everything together afterwards. Um, they ended their $20 million deal. This was supposed to be over three years. They mutually parted ways and they said that they're proud of the series that they made together. But if Megan kept Spotify in the dark about not doing these interviews, could Spotify demand their money back? Because it seems like they were supposed to produce a lot of series for Spotify and they just kind of didn't deliver. Yes, if Megan Markle delegated her tasks to others, that could be a material breach of her agreement with Spotify. Oftentimes in an agreement, you can have someone else perform for you. But if it's something like this and the folks want the prince and they want Megan, you're not gonna be able to delegate those duties. So this is the type of case that if Megan did breach the terms of her agreement with Spotify, they could absolutely get their money back or maybe even sue for damages. Right, and it seems like they ended this deal a little bit early. Since they did under deliver, could, would Spot, did Spotify maybe have to pay Harry and Meghan out of the full contract to end this deal? Or do they, they kind of leave some money on the table? Well, it's impossible to know what happened behind the scenes. But if there was a breach, let's say Meghan breached, then Spotify would have several options. They could sue, they could rescind the deal, or they could try to potentially work out some sort of resolution with Megan and the Prince. So it really depends on what negotiations happen behind the scenes, but it seems, at least to me, the parties decided to walk away. It's just a question of who paid whom. Right. And like you said, we don't know exactly what the deal was, uh, what it entailed, but it seems like they want to take archetypes to another platform. But does Spotify, since it was originally on their platform, does it, does Spotify own archetypes or I'm sure they probably worked that out in the deal where they can kind of take this anywhere? I'm sure that was part of the resolution, but, but these types of sort of exclusivity or non-compete type arrangements are pretty common when you're dealing with media. Obviously, if you're Spotify and you have Megan doing your podcast, you probably want to prevent her from doing other podcasts. You want some sort of exclusive type arrangement. So now that the deal is no longer there, I would imagine that Megan is free to take her talents elsewhere. But again, that's something that was probably worked out behind the scenes. For more news content and exclusive interviews, make sure to hit the sub, like, and bell button down below and visit usmagazine.com.